Today, we're gonna make cranberry sauce on the grilla. What better accompaniment can you have to a smoked turkey? And it's an easy, easy recipe. All we're gonna do is take one bag of cranberries. Oops, lost a couple. One full bag of cranberries. We're gonna take some ginger, and I'm gonna put two chunks in, about the size of a quarter, right into the cranberries. Then we're gonna take one cup of apple cider or apple juice, any brand is fine. Pour it in, easy peasy. We're gonna take one tablespoon of Jack Daniels honey. One tablespoon is all you need. Don't get too happy. Then we're gonna use one Kearns or any other brand of fruit juice. Pour it in, easy. All right, then we're gonna take, this is ground cloves, cause we're gonna make it easy. You need one eighth of a teaspoon. So simple, one eighth of a teaspoon. Cinnamon, exactly the same. Any brand is fine. One eighth teaspoon, that's it. And then we're gonna zest the zest of, I use a navel orange because I like that there's more zest. I'm gonna use the zest off of half of this orange. If you'd rather have a measurement, it's one tablespoon of orange zest. Then I'll cut this orange in half. And since this is a navel, it's seedless, I'll squeeze the juice out and I will actually just place this orange in here like this in the middle. And then this is the secret ingredient. I use maple syrup. Uh, this is wild Maine blueberry maple syrup. And it will be one tablespoon of this. So, one tablespoon of blueberry maple syrup. Again, any flavor will do. If you just have regular maple syrup, that's cool too. And I'm gonna save the trouble of the video of peeling this and chopping it but basically, you do have to peel it because the texture is totally wrong. Now that I've diced the apple, you'll see it's just chopped in here with the cranberries and all the liquid. I have a half a cup of white sugar and a half a cup of brown sugar. Put it all in. And then you set it on your grilla while you go in and enjoy your company. The cranberry sauce has been in about 25 minutes. I just wanted to let you take a look at it. It's already starting to smell really, really good. Now that it's done, I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna fish out the ginger pieces. And you can, if you want, this will be hot, squeeze out the orange to give some more flavor to the sauce. Then discard the shell. And we're ready to eat.